Okay, so we have a problem where y equals log base 2 of x, and that's our f of x function. So, I didn't actually write this out, f of x equals log base 2 of x plus 0.6. This is a function we're going to want to evaluate, okay? Now, I do this based on the graph of y equals log base 2 of x. So the question is, here's the graph, we know how to construct the graph, okay? So what's f of, what, what's f of 0.6? f of x is log base 2 of x plus 0.6, okay? So f of 0.6 is log base 2 of 0.6 plus 0.6. Replace x by 0.6. So you replace x by 0.6. You get log base 2 of 1.2. You come over to the graph. Here's x equals 1.2. You project up to the graph and over. And here's log base 2 of 1.2, which we estimated to be, one, uh, to, to be 0.3 based on this graph. So there's our estimate. Now, I also said... You can use a calculator to check it because log base 2 of 1.2, by the rule I gave you, is the log of 1.2 divided by the log of 2. And you would have used that, I think, in your homework. So you figure that out and see how close that is to 0.3. Then you know how well I did with my estimate. Okay? Hopefully you do even better with your estimate. Because my estimates aren't all that good here because hand-drawn graph, and I just sketched this curve here and then I put the axes on it and hoped that it was good. Okay? It's not terrible, but I don't think it's all that great either. If you do it carefully, you can come out with better estimates than I'm coming out with. Okay? So, um, and then f of 1.6, well that means log base 2 of 1.6 plus 6, which is log base 2 of 2.2. I go to this graph, here's x equals 2.2, here's the log. Uh, base 2 of 2.2. 2. I didn't put the base 2 on there. I was already writing down a bunch of 2's and left that one off. Okay? And then that, that estimate, we came out, I thought it was between 1 point, it's too, too high for 1.3, maybe too low for 1.4, so I just went with 1.35. Okay? So that's one way of using the graph. And we're solving, we're basically, well, we're doing evaluating a function based on our estimates from the graph. Okay. Now, another thing I can do is, how does the graph of log base 2 of x plus 0.6 compare to the graph of log base 2 of x? Now, you should be able to answer that very quickly. What's the difference between this and this? I've replaced x by x plus 0.6, right? What's that do to the graph? Shifts at 0.6 units in the negative x direction. Okay? That's a, something you simply have to know. Okay? And we've, talked, we've been talking about that for most of the semester. Okay? It's, it's something that always confuses people, which is why I talk about it frequently. So we need to get over that confusion and hopefully understand why it works, but at least understand that it works. Well, all I do then is I take the graph of the log base 2 function, I shift it over 0.6 units to the left, and now if I want to find f of 0.6, I just find 0.6 and I come up here and project over. Now my estimate in this case was 0.4, okay? Now before I said that f of 0.6 looked like it was 0.3. But that was based on this graph, and the 0.4 is based on this graph, and my graphs aren't exact copies of each other because I'm hand-drawing them, right? And I'm not even plotting points. I'm just slopping down a log function. Well, I slopped down the log function here, and then I shifted it over 0.6 units and went through the details of how I did that and why I did that. So look at the MCR videos if you're not clear on it, because you need to be clear on it, okay? And then, uh, you know, using the green graph, I just put in x equals 0.6. I get f of x equals 0.4, reasonably consistent with the 0.3 estimate for f of 0.6 that I got using this graph. 
And then the 1.6, I come up and over and I get about 1.3. Well, here I estimated for, for f of 1.6. Here f of 1.6 was 1.35, right? So that's pretty close. These two estimates are pretty close. These two are also pretty close. They're within 0.1. But you can take your calculator and figure out how close they are. Okay? Just evaluate like we evaluated this one and see what they should have been. And then think about how the two graphs compare, the shifted graph and the original graph, and why they give you the same result because you shifted 0.6 units to the left.